Okay, hi guys, Mike here again. So we come to number seven out of seven of the last sayings of Jesus on the cross. And because it's Christmas, I just thought it's a really good time to, to look at those things. And it's simply this from Luke 23, 46. Jesus bowing his head says the words, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. So uh, Luke actually paints a different picture than John does and uh, different again from Matthew and Mark as well. They just talk about a great cry that he cried out from the cross. Um, um, and it sort of ends a little bit on a dark note. John ends with the completed work and Luke who reports no feeling of um, Jesus having been forsaken. He ends at telling us that the great cry was a quotation of Psalm 31 verse 5. And so the Jews actually celebrated that Psalm quite a lot. And if you compare that with um, the words of Stephen in Acts 7.49, you'll see there's a similarity there. Um, the quotation that Jesus said, um, Into thy hands I commit my spirit, is prefaced by the words, Abba, Father. Um, so that's very characteristic of Jesus. Um, it shows for me that the relationship between Jesus and the Father wasn't broken. Uh, we often have this picture that he's hanging there, that he's distraught, that he's down, that he's broken, and he goes, Ugh! but I don't think it's like that. Jesus wasn't leaping into the dark. He wasn't fighting unknown forces, but he placed himself in death into the hands of the same father that he served throughout his entire life. So anyway, that's, that's the seven. Um, just commenting on those um, those seven words have a very deep pastoral content uh, which has caught the imagination of um, poets, scholars, uh, pastors, evangelists throughout history. Um, a lot of Christian meditation, uh, see the trouble is we get into New Age meditation, but Christian meditation focuses on those seven saints. Um, they've been celebrated in liturgy, they've been celebrated in song. Um, so it's it's you know, a great example of Christian behavior and a great example of passion theology. Passion, by the way, being the passion of Christ that last week of his life. So that's part of church tradition. So I certainly hope you've enjoyed it. And if you haven't got your Christmas card, run out to your letterbox and have a look. Apart from that, have a great Christmas. I'll do some new stuff. It's so hard to record when um, it's so hot and humid and you work all day. But anyway, look what I got. I got finally after eight years I got a hosting t-shirt that fits me. <laughs> it probably says more about me than the hosting t-shirts. Anyway, have a good one. Bless you heaps. Bye. Bless you.